Hello friends, we are team Prometheus and we have done a project on frontier exploration. So we are a team of two where I am Harsh and a student in robotics in University of Maryland and interested in agriculture and medical robotics. With me I have my friend Rohit who is also a student in the same university and has done his internship in Magic Leap and is interested in computer vision and machine learning. So let's have an overview of the project. So in this project, we are performing and uh, our robot is performing the exploration of unknown map. Here, we used G-mapping package for uh, mapping the environment and move base for moving around. This is done in ROS and C++ with TurtleBot. So the motivation behind the project was nowadays the integration of robotics and human is increasing so in search and rescue operations we can use robots so this prometheus will successfully explore the map and give us the whole map of unknown area so the implementation of project is in the following way where initially our robot moves 360 degrees and takes the occupancy grid then it classifies the frontiers then it segments the frontiers into clusters and at the end it finds centroids of the clusters after which it goes to the nearest cluster and checks the uh, an avoid region then it navigates the next cluster and it displays visual markers and the process repeats again till the all the frontiers are covered so if we see the class diagram, we have three classes, Frontier Explorer, Map and Map Node. And the following other method which can be seen in README. So I think you're excited to build the project. So this is the following process of building the project. Like we need to first make uh, the workspace named Catkin make then we need to clone the repository then we need to source the repository by source dev uh, slash setup dot bash then we need to run the uh, launch file and uh, following la launch file so this detail uh, this detailed uh, process is given into readme so you can look into readme now my friend Rohit will continue on the video demonstration so now that Harsh has gone over the steps for building the project, we will now get into how one can clone the repository and build the project locally. So the first instruction that we have to follow is that we need to make a catkin workspace. Now I will explain this from the repository. We initially will make a catkin, catkin workspace and inside we will have a folder named source inside which our package will go. I already have a cat, catkin workspace but I will create a source folder now. Now once that we create a, a catkin workspace with a source folder inside we will navigate to the source folder. Now that we are inside the source folder, we need to git clone the project and build it. Now we cd back to the main workspace. We then type catkin make to build the project. While it is building, we can also build tests along with this that will be explained in the next step. So now that we have our repository built, before getting into the demo, I will quickly go through how to build the tests. We can build the test by running the command catkin underscore make run underscore tests in the terminal. 
this compiles your package and runs the test at the same time. Additionally, we also have a launch file which will run all the tests. So like you can see here, there are 30 tests that have been built. Now to run the demo, we need to launch two launch files. The first of which is called gazebo underscore arvis dot launch file. This launches your gazebo along with arvis. Please note that this might take some time for if you are launching this for the first time. I'll quickly move this to other parts of my workspace. Next, we have another launch file that's required to start the gmapping node and the Prometheus node. That's, that launch file is called as Prometheus demo.launch. We need to make sure that our gmapping node is correctly launched. This can be ensured by visualizing the output of Arvis and if we are able to see a map with colorful markers, it means that our map has successfully loaded and as you can see here, the turtle bot is rotating first and exploring. Now it has found a frontier and it is navigating to the frontier. This process runs over and over again until the entire map is completed. As this takes some time, I have a video which will explain all the important concepts. So here initially I have sourced and I have run all the same commands that have been mentioned before. Here you can see that a partial map is created. One thing to note here is that we have different markers that are useful for displaying different messages such as the frontiers, the location of the frontiers, the location of the clusters as well as reach avoid regions where the robot has previously navigated or is unable to reach. As you can see here, there are different color colors here that indicate the clustering of the frontiers. The small square boxes that you can see here, for example, the one in green here indicate the cluster centroids. The red boxes here indicate regions where the robot has previously visited or are not able for the robot to visit. Now I'll quickly go over the end of the process so that we can see the entire map once it's built. Slow and steady, the entire robot covers the whole map. I have an image that shows the entire map completed. As you can see here, the image on the left is from the gazebo world and the image from the right is from Arvis. One thing to note is that there might be changes in your map but then that happens due to errors in Arvis mapping. So that's it from our side. You can please feel free to download the code and reach out to us in case you have any issues building the code. That's it. Thank you Thank so you. much.